Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So I've re recently been playing with um, different types of bridging on the reformer, and um, I like this one because it helps folks get in contact with their thoracic spines. Um, it also encourages a little bit of passive thoracic extension, um, which many of our clients need. And it's also a challenge for the whole back line of the body, while we can also get some mobilization of the upper thoracic ribs. So you have them set up a uh, foot bar down. I'm on a red and a blue. You could possibly go up to a couple of red springs here but you want them to scoot down and then bring their upper spine onto the box. So their head is fully supported here. You don't want them hanging off. Um, although if you wanted to work on the building up the strength of the neck flexors, you could consider that. But we're gonna be here with the head and the upper spine actively supported by the box. Feet can either be on the um, frame of the reformer, or if you want, they might feel more comfortable on the foot bar. But you want to cue an open front of the pelvis, so that clicks in or kicks in the glutes and the hamstrings. And then the arms can be here. And then to get some of that thoracic mobilization, I'm just going to reach one arm up as I pull the opposite arm down, trying to keep the height of my pelvis and mobilize the upper spine ribs here. And you can do a few of these. You could also just have them work their arms in lots of different directions, right? While keeping the height of their pelvis. And just by virtue of having the box, right? Passively extending the thoracic spine and then moving the arms, we're starting to mobilize the shoulder girdle as well as the upper ribs. And then you could take this into a little bit of extension in the legs and a little bit of release. And you could add, again, some arms to this to get those upper thoracics mobilizing a little bit and just having a little fun exploring. So passive thoracic extension with a lot of backline activation this is a great place to explore that. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.